Good morning, welcome back to the channel, Laughing Life Mallorca. Today I'm going to have a little look around Acudia Market on a Sunday. So without further ado, let's get on with it. So you'll find Acudia Market in the old town of Acudia. It's on twice a week, it's on a Tuesday and a Sunday. It's very easy to get here, it's just located off the main part just by the bus stop in Acudia. It's open all year round, however in the winter months you'll find mostly a, a locals market selling fruit and veg and things like that. But in the summer it all comes open to life, selling all the tourist items as well as. The fruit and veg you'll find on the markets on the island are grown by the um, sellers themselves and the families. So it's got great taste. You still see the um, social distancing where you have to stand behind the rope and that where they sell you, serve you rather. There's some really strong smells here. Of all different fruits, things as we walk down. A lovely sunny day to game today. The temperature's in its early 30s. If you do come to the market, please make sure your handbags, purses, and such like are well looked after. There's a lot of pickpockets around. Get yourself freshly squeezed orange juice as well, was you here? Get yourself a tasting of cheese or whatever, just a little bit to taste. It's a very busy market, this is. It's a very big market as well. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just li love listening to people talking. Languages you hear as you're walking around. You can pick up anything you want here at all. As you can see here, the majority of people are still wearing masks, which does feel Reassuring, should I say? Apart from the markets, you've got the town as well with Santander and various other banks. Lots of cafes to choose from around and plenty of car parks. I just love the artists and their paintings and things. It's well worth coming on a non-market day to have a walk around the wall, have a, a drink in the ball ring. <coughs> This is a lovely place, the old town of Acudia. And even in the winter months when there aren't the tourists here, it's, it's still a lovely place to visit and have a little walk around. You can see why not take a guided tour. So if you forget your towel or haven't got the room or whatever, you can pick towels up here for 10 euros, two for 18, all the different types. And this way up here, that takes you to the, the uh, wall. And you can see the ball ring up there and different various things as it brings you around to the front of Acudia. 
that is up there. You can walk all the way up the wall, some spectacular views up there, as you'll see on some of my other films I've made in the past. Lots of history in the Goody Old Town. It's so nice to see so many people out and about, actually. It's so nice to have a look up some of these side roads at all, side streets. There's so much history everywhere, so much beauty, especially looking at the houses and things. The good thing is if you are here on holiday, you're not familiar with the area, you really cannot get lost when having a look around them, around the side streets. Just everywhere just leads to the circle. Many of you fancy it, stop off for a coke or coffee or some food, a bit of tapas or something. This is one of our favourite little cafes to come in when we're up here, just have a drink or something to eat or whatever. It's just nice to sit in the centre and just watch the world go past. And behind all that scaffold in there now, that is the town hall. And next to the town hall, you'll find during the fiesta times, this is where they throw sweets and balloons and things out the windows. Which is quite nice, have all the children down here, song, songs are playing, so people are singing all that. It's a completely different atmosphere during the winter months. And then in this building just on the corner, that is the local Acudia radio station there. That's amongst, amongst other things that are in there. Part of the council offices. So around everywhere you'll find a continuation of the market and the stalls. It's nice to see actually that so many of the shops have managed to recover from nearly two years of the virus. It's incredible to think really that years ago Acudia was all behind the wall. If you think about how much work was involved in making the wall back in the day. See so if you do like losing yourself for a little for a morning or whatever. It's lovely to just come around here, have a walk everywhere stop off for a drink or something even it's the same on non-market days it's just so nice to come and appreciate the buildings
So we're more or less back where I started the film. To see it's a few restaurants in front of us, it's a different bits and bobs. And another bit of the market. So it's just in the road there, that's where the bus stop is. They'll bring you here if you come in by bus. And you'll find taxi ranchers here. If you need a taxi to take you anywhere. Tourist information. Nice day for canvas on top of us. So it takes a glare of the sun, makes a lot of difference. So this is the Akuli market. There are lots of markets on the island, as you can imagine. The big, the biggest market probably, I would think, is the Inca market. But this market is, is quite big, as you can see for yourself. So if you do fancy a, a bite to eat or whatever, don't forget to check out the menu of the day, menu de Daya. They're very good value normally, three, three courses and a drink for about 11, 12 euros, that sort of price. And there's a little bit for everyone with them. There's a meat, a lot of vegetarians and some fish dishes and things. There's always something to find for everyone, but you've not enough time, times out of 10, you have to ask to see the menu for them. Because only, normally it's only handwritten where they change it every day. Just when you walk around here, it's just nice to see different places every photo is taken. Like, just around this corner, just by this well. And about two or three minutes away from the main market area, it's like we're in a completely different place, in a different day of the week. Completely away from the market and the hustle bustle. That's what I was saying, if you can see the people up the top there, they're walking around the walls. I'll just walk up the steps and show you the view from the top. Now there's a ball ring you can see in front of you there. So as I said earlier, there's plenty of car parking spaces around. So this is a wall, as I said, you can walk around. Walk around about, about a quarter, I suppose, of the wall itself. So as I said, we're just approaching the ball ring now, that used to be. It hasn't been in ball fights in there for a few years now. I'm not sure how many exactly, can't remember. And there's a little cafe in there, you can go in there, for two euros you can have a look around where the ball fighting was. And get yourself a, a drink, a beer, a coke or whatever. And sit there and talk to some of the locals. Or have a look at the photos and use the toilet. So it's, it's well worth knowing it's there. It's a very interesting place for history to have a look around. What's going on in there? So I'm a, this is the uh, wall again on my right, just there. Nice little path just coming through. Cut to see the edge of it, should I say, and go straight into a car park. And there's a school, primary school in front of us.
It's on the way through to a few children's rides here. A couple of cafe bars in front of us and if we followed the road round, we'll get back to where um, the main part of the market is and all around there. There's a lovely big car park again, free. So following up the school on the right hand side. Heading back towards the main market area. And then follow it around, like I say, to the main part of the market. There's a few cafes and bars here. So I'm gonna go in and have myself a, a drink. So I hope you liked today's little walk around the market. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget the Facebook page, Love in Love Mallorca. And I'll see you all on the next film. Bye for now.